Welcome back, everybody. I just had some cinnamon toast and I'm ready to go! So let's go. Oh, Tempest, you look like you're bottom zip! It's a good thing! <laughs> Fine, I've decided I need a favor, Tempest. Moville City has an underground sector called New Moville. Tempest, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. I'm too old and dying. The generator has been running about haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to getting the new Moville. Don't you worry about it. it won't be a challenge to you. <clears throat> the entrance to New Moville is just a short surfer way from Route 110. That's it. You have my trust. <laughs> okay. He's freaking crazy. I thought I should tell you that now. Alright. I'm gonna do a couple things before I go, like chuck any items I don't need, because you get a bunch of items there. Here we go. Wave mail and harbor mail. You can get chucked. And anything else I wanna do? Use a repel. Okay, golden. Alright, first thing, read the sign. Team Magma rules, someone scribbled that on the sign. Alright. Just thought I should point that out. Now we're in New Moville. Who freaking ru? Who freaking ru? More like, who freaking ra? Or huh freaking za? I don't know. Dang it, fast forward is failing me. More like, I'm failing me. Actually, I wonder if there's an item in the corner. Probably not. Nope. No. Okay. So, things we're gonna get here. We're gonna get an Ultra Ball, uh, an Escape Rope, a Thunderstone, and you can fight a crap load of Voltorbs. There's the Escape Rope. There's a bunch of Voltorbs that are, like, fake, pretending to be, like, items. And there's the Ultra Ball. If you go to the right, it just brings you back to the entrance. Now it's a Voltorb! Alright. This is the place you want to go if you want to catch a Magnemite or a Voltorb in this game. So if you like Electrode or Magneton, this is where you gotta go. Paralyze Heal, I forgot about that item. Shoot, I thought I remembered everything here. Oh well, life goes on! Swallow, what are you doing there? You're weak to those guys. I'm gonna put out Marsh Top because he's a fish. Fish are obviously good at killing things that are electric. Actually, what the heck is Marshtop, anyways? Anybody know? He's like a frogfish... ...bear... ...of justice. I have no idea what he is. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the green button. DON'T PRESS THE GREEN BUTTON! <laughs> that's from Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, that show is great. One of the few shows on Nickelodeon back in the day that was really funny. He was, he was in a jackhammer competition, he was trying to do a figure eight. And he went to, like, draw an 8, and he was like, I don't know, I'm getting kind of sloppy, and it was a 7 and a half that he drew out instead of an 8. It was so funny. Okay. Escape. Escape! Oh boy, Tentacle. Level 31. You're a high level. Tentacle, water poison, has existed since the first generation. Was in an episode of the anime where there was a ginormous tentacle and it wreaked havoc on, like, the world. It was awesome. Okay. Whoa! I knew it, Tempest! I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks. The him containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you've earned it. <sighs> it pleases me to know when to see the young step up and take charge. Um, I never knew whether that was supposed to be a horrible pun or if he was just happy. Because charge, electric, you know. Okay. Uh, let's fight this guy. Oh wait, we don't fight him, he gives us the good rod, right. Sweet! Forgot about that. He gives us the good rod. Yeah. Yay, Curlio, okay. Oh, these guys are so annoying, I never give them an interview. I just don't think it's worth it. I honestly don't think you get anything out of the interview, except for, like, you'll go on TV and say something, and they'll be like, Yay! Look at you, you're on TV! And I'll be like, Yay, shut up, I don't really care. I think that that actually might influence the people at, uh... Ooh. I forgot the name of the town off the top of my head. Whoa. The place where you fight Fatty McFat Fat and his fighting Pokemon. Uh... Right. Iron. Iron. Let's use it on Curlia, because Curlia's defense is absolutely atrocious. Okay, let's move on. 
There we go. Swallow can take the Pokemon over here. They're all water types, and then you get over to a fighting, uh, flying type area over on the right. I'm a fisherman, also a trainer. I'm raising the Pokemon I got. If you could catch all those words, good job, because that was the closest I'm ever going to get to rapping speed. Alright, you're dead. Wow. One hit. Nice. One hit both times. Alright. We don't get items from there. Oh god! Look at here. Hi! You're that trainer I met in Duford! I'm a tool! Okay, you're Tempest. I'll remember it. Yeah! This vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. Come on, many times. Do you raise different types? Or do you only raise one kind of type? Do you like types? I like types. Are you a trainer? What do you think is a trainer? I'm really freaking annoying. This is 20 questions. God, that guy's annoying. All he does is ask you like five bajillion questions. He's like, hi. I'm like your first fanboy. I love you. And you're like, go away. I don't like you. He's, he's a nice guy, I guess. I wouldn't mind hanging out with him on the... During the week, not on the weekend, so he's not that he's not that kind of friend. He's not the kind of guy I would hang out with on like a Friday or a Saturday. He's the one I would hang out with on like maybe a, a Wednesday or Tuesday when I didn't have anything going on, like in the spare time kind of a thing. Anyways, that was way too detailed for something that's never gonna happen because it's physically impossible. Okay, well, we're gonna go get this item. It's an ultra ball. Oh man, we're at the Berry Master's house. Just about. Oh shoot! That's the Berry Master's house. We're gonna fight this tool bag. Good times are filled with good aromas? You know, there are many times where I was having a good time and it smelled like crap. If you've ever been to a concert, especially like a metal concert, where there's a bunch of swelly... Swelly. A bunch of sweaty fat guys. Uh, and not so fat guys and girls. Okay. Anyways, this smells pretty bad in most concerts. Those are good times. And they stink. Endeavor is actually a useful move. But, I'm uh, probably never going to use it if I get it, because I don't get to the point in time where I need to use something like that. I'm either dead or I'm alive. It's like that Bon Jovi song. Wanted, dead, or alive. Okay. Yay, is a Pomeg? Named after pomegranates. They're not shaped like pomegranates, though. These are Qualot Berries. Never figured out what they're named after. Somebody please tell me. Grape, Greppa Berries, named after grapes. And I'll be right back, I'm gonna get all the berries. Give me a sec. Okay, I got all the berries. Now we're gonna go in here. Alright, so at this point, this guy gives you berries. Um, he gives you uh, Hondu Berries, I believe. But at the next person, the Berry Master's wife, there are five phrases you can say to get items. You have to have heard these words or seen the Pokemon from some part in the game, though. Uh, the sayings are Super Hustle, Cool Latia, Cool Latios, Challenge Contest, Great Battle, and Overwhelming Latias. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have the ability to say most of those. I think that the only one I can say is... Uh, what was I saying again? The only one I can say is Great Battle, I think, at this point. Um, so I'm just going to say that. But if you say those five different uh, sayings that I just said you can get different berries out of it. And I think it's the only way to get some of the berries. Other than, like, planting them after you get them. Spell on berry. Wonderful. This one's really spicy, I think. It's really good for uh, making Pokemon cool. We'll see if I'm right. I'm probably wrong. I don't know this. Up. Wow! Cool! I was right. Vividly red berry. It's warts secrete a spicy substance. That's delicious. I would love to eat some warts right now. I'm sure you would all like to do that too, wouldn't you? Mmm, delicious warts of yumminess. I never understood why parents would allow these two little kids to just hang out there. It's like, hi, we're gonna put you out on this random route. We probably don't have a house because the parents don't exist in the coding of the game. But whatever, we're just gonna let you play outside with strangers. Because that's totally safe, right? Wow, parenting fail. Poor little kids. I really hope that there's nobody bad in this world. But then again, the only thing you can do is talk to them. So I guess no harm can happen, except for I can beat the living crap out of their crappy Pokemon. Alright. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it quits just about now-ish. I'm gonna get to the next route. Let's see, we're on Route 118. And we are going to take on Route 118 and Route 119 next time. See y'all later. Peace!